Hey, and welcome to Matt and Jess TV. I am Matt Roast here with Jessica Bun Bun. This is our reaction and review for Sugar Season 1, Episode 5. I have a secret. What is your secret? You're undead, you're an alien, you're a vampire, you're AI. Tell I, me, I'm a nosy bee, I need to know. I can't. Okay, here's, oh, the, th okay. here's the thing. <laughs> if you're going to tell somebody you have a secret, and then you follow that up with, I can't, that is one of the worst things you could do to somebody. That is basically just saying, you know what? I have this huge piece of information. Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. I know he wasn't mocking her in the same way, but I would lose my mind if somebody did that to me. Yeah, I mean, they've only known each other for so long at this point. I mean, I'm sure she wants to know what the secret is. She shared quite a lot with him. He knows a lot about her. I think he feels very much like he can trust her, but... What is this secret? I mean, him saying, I can't. I mean, wh why? Why can't you? What is it? I uh, we will get into all our theories, but yeah. I'm still dying on the hill that his big secret is he's an alien. Tinfoil hat on. <laughs> Tinfoil hat on as well. I'm still sticking with the he's undead and had some sort of bizarre memory wipe thing going on here. I mean, there's a lot to joke about with the end of this, but the reality of what we're seeing on the show right now is I think to put Sugar in a place that vulnerable where he's willing to say anything that shows the amount of care he seemingly feels towards Melanie and mm -hmm. how this could be a problem with how he's been wired. Take that word however you will and the problems that presents itself for Ruby. But yeah, like mm -hmm. Jess said, we're going to unpack so much about the end of this plus what happened to Davey, everything else going on here. But if you guys are enjoying this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we are here through all of Sugar to break down these episodes, share theories, have a great time with you. And by subscribing, you guys, you help to support us here at the channel. Yeah. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed. It, it does really help us out. Okay, so let's get into John Sugar's secret. What do you guys think is his secret? Leave it for us in the comments. As I've said, I'm, I'm feeling more and more confident about this crazy alien theory I had like at the very beginning that I thought I had a tiny little bit of smoke on it, but now I feel like it's wafting everywhere. <laughs> what about you? You know, I, I'm still on the idea that Sugar is undead and that in some way he died or he had a near-death experience and Ruby and some other people in this operation. Maybe is this dude Miller who we saw briefly mm -hmm. in this conversation with her, like another one of my fellow bald brethren. Like maybe they had. He's alien too. I'm not alien though. No, like said... are you? What's your secret? <laughs> I can't. Okay, no. I think really though the the question I'm left to wonder, in addition to obviously what the secret is, is what brought Sugar to the point where he was going to say to her. I have a secret because that's clearly something he's kept very close to the vest and he has some level of awareness on because he's mentioned in the past that, you know, there are things about his own past that are very deeply hidden that he can't bring out to the point where he's got an actor for a mom throwing Davy off the scent and then saying, you know, I can't in that moment. And the big question I'm sort of left wondering on all this is, how much does Sugar know about his own past and whatever this secret is? Like, I feel like he knows some, but I don't think he knows everything. I think there are some things that are being kept from him, and this can then be interpreted as, I can't tell you because it will get me in trouble, but also maybe I can't tell you because I'm not even sure I know fully myself. Yeah, I mean, that you mentioned Miller and, you know, Ruby in that conversation, which started to solidify things more and more and more that he's an alien and that they're all like a group of aliens that, you know, they're they're talking again. They bring up Miller says, you know, remember, we're here just to observe. That is very much like alien speak from like every alien yeah. movie we are here to observe or not here to participate that kind of thing yeah so like it really feels that way but that conversation i think was really significant to the whole sugar sort of universe that is sugar because there is this side of ruby that seems like she's like listen 
he's not going to like when he finds out what is going on. And it does sound like he knows some of what's going on, but he doesn't know everything that's going on. And she's clearly had to go to Miller, who's who, like a higher up at this point? I don't know. Feels like he's like a higher up in charge alien that's like, <laughs> listen, we got to just... Keep on keeping on with the mission. Whatever you have to do to get him like off the scent of things, you do that thing. Keep sugar in line. It'll all be okay. Here's my big picture on where everything is standing right now. Because I do agree with you that Miller's obviously like a higher up person who's a part of a larger organization. And there's an understandable hierarchy that is going on here where sugar is off on the street trying to solve these cases, trying to figure out who these missing people are and where they've gone. Now, what I think is going on is that there's a real psychological study of human behavior that is being brought about by what happens if you bring somebody back from the dead and attempt to reassimilate them into society? Do they act like a normal person? What can be gained from it? I think there's, I think he's a lab rat, basically, to put it in the most terms that would be absolutely <laughs> frustrating to him because I think he wants to believe he has a purpose. He's really passionate about it. That's one of the things we've seen time and time again. He's fundamentally a good person, but I think Miller and maybe even to some extent Ruby are just using him they're using him for data they're using him to see what he does and acts in certain occasions but there's also parameters to it where if the experiment starts to go awry it's like any other experiment you want to try to cancel it you want to try to rein the person back in but the problem is sugar is going more and more off brand he's going in this direction that could really complicate things and maybe they're worried about this very idea that if sugar whether it be because he's too close to the case, it's the Hollywoodness of it that's going to personally attract him to it. They're worried that he's going to blow up the whole operation by what little he knows. And of course, they're going to try to pull out that big metaphorical cane to just like yank him off stage. I do like that they finally mentioned the thing that you were complaining about in the videos, which is that John Sugar never complains about the traffic out here. <laughs> Yes. He finally yes. did. Right feel... at the beginning. I was like, oh, Matt's going to be happy about that. Yeah. I'm so passionate about this. I'm like throwing my mic all over the place. I, it's just like, I'm glad there is a little bit more self-awareness going on here. John Sugar, you are slightly more human than whatever you were previously. I like that they're still making him awkward. That there, there's a lot of him that isn't, but there's things that he's... He's not really understanding nuances of like, you can't just have no pants and invite <laughs> Melanie to come yes. in and be like her, be like, what's going on here? Where are your pants? Oh, I'm going to take a shower. Like, it's just kind of like a normal, like whatever thing that he, he, there's parts of him that just feel like they're very new. If that makes sense. Like he's not fully human so yes your your reanimation from the dead he's brand new that's a thing for sure the alien thing he doesn't really understand everything yet for sure some of the bigger mysteries that i actually wonder if his secret is is maybe if he doesn't fully know that he's an alien or whatever's yeah. going on to him maybe the secret is more about his sister we heard a little bit about that in the first episode mm -hmm. that olivia reminds him of his sister and something that happened there and then we never really heard that much about it again the sister may be the reason why he's decided to partake in whatever this is if it is he's an alien maybe something happened to his sister on planet Scar or wherever it is that he's from. Wow, what? <laughs> I was just trying to like, what's the most alien planet name I can give without unintentionally like referencing something else in pop culture? So that's where I went. <laughs> or it's just something that his sister ended up making him want to sign up for this, you know, quote unquote, undead mystery experimentation. It's just, I think there is something that's connecting him to all of this just because it's the question of why would you want to do this if you're an alien why would you want to go far from your home planet with all of these strange earthlings and become a part of this unless you know he was off on another planet blah, watching all these different tv shows and being like 
I want to be a part of this. Okay, listen, what if... Okay. Okay, this theory might be out there as well. We're okay. talking aliens. <laughs> okay, it's true. Okay, Stallings. So we yeah. saw at the end of this episode what he's doing. Mm-hmm. He's he's taking young girls. He's doing what he's doing with young yeah. girls. Is it possible if Sugar really has a sister and this isn't just some alien AI implantation or something? Yeah. Is it possible that Stallings has his sister or had his sister at some point? Mm. And that's why Ruby doesn't want these two worlds to mix up. I like that idea a lot. I think it has to be either Stallings knows something about the sister or Stallings knows something about Sugar's own past. And if he's had some element of his memory wiped, then that's something that there's a fear that could trigger in Sugar's head if he spends too much time around him. Yeah, like we saw him have this needle that was, you know, syringe that's in like a weird looks like other planet ice box or something yeah and we've seen him use it one time now it doesn't mean that he's not using it but maybe he's not and maybe that's something that he's been taking to suppress whatever memories or whatever about his sister or something maybe something about stallings that's going on i can understand that there might be a corner of the viewership for this show that's just like why are you guys spending so much time talking about all these different theories because Regardless of whatever was said in reviews and all this other stuff about a twist, there's enough on the show there is. that makes us go down these rabbit holes at this point. You mentioned the, the weird ice box with the syringe in it. That's not normal. There are some, the pants no. thing, also not normal. There's enough clues sprinkled within the show itself. We that, are here to observe who talks like that. Yes, there's enough baked in to sugar, and I'm not talking about baking and sugar in the way that you get cookies here. I'm just saying there's enough baked into the story of this show that makes us really suspicious about this guy, and not so much suspicious in a bad way that he's some sort of, like, evil force. I think it's more just, number one, who is he? But number two, why is he? Why is he here? Why do these people care about what's going on? Because it doesn't feel, at least based on what we've seen, that Ruby or Miller or anybody else is anywhere near as invested in helping these people in the way that Sugar is. Okay, let's talk about people that I'm not invested in who are no no longer on this show, and that's Davey. So we had this, you know both Bernie and his mom were trying to stop Sugar from getting to talk to him and all of that. And finally, Davey's like, listen, I'm just going to talk to him. And he confesses, oh my goodness, everything, even down to Stallings and his involvement with Olivia that he may have mentioned to Stallings that Olivia was, you know, going to the police or pushing people to go to the press or, you know, pressuring women to sue him or all kinds of stuff and that she was becoming a problem and that maybe Stallings then stepped in that this might actually be connected and we saw in the last episode he's got Olivia's necklace at this place that he's got this locked door and you know what's behind the locked door it's probably people right Mm -hmm. I mean we saw at the end of this episode what he was doing with people so there's probably people down there but is Olivia also down there it's possible I mean I think she's alive Matt thinks she's alive do you guys think she's alive Let us know in the comments. But I I really think she's still alive. Otherwise, why not just show us that she's not at this point? The situation with Davey, I think, in this episode is pretty fascinating in that, you know, he makes this decision that, okay, I'm going to say, you know, my comment about the town. I'm going to unalive myself. This kind of concludes his story (laughs) arc on the show. But then there's also this question of what What does Davey really feel about everything? Because he's done a lot of just like absolutely reprehensible things over the course of his life. And if he really felt terrible about all those sort of things, he could have made this decision, you know, a long time ago. And so it's a situation where now, okay, he's got caught, but rather than trying to fight that, he does make this confession at this point. He does indicate everything about Stallings and then after that is the end of his life and that's what makes you know me think that a lot of this decision comes down to what he said about Stallings that he's really just afraid of whatever Stallings was going to do to him with that information out there that that was the thing that for him was not making it worth living anymore that he knew he would probably die or have something really really bad happen to him so he wanted to just take care of it himself 
Yeah, Stallings already told him, if you mention my name, yeah. my name comes out of your mouth, you're done. And, like, he's going to take care of it. And Davy had said that Stallings was getting kind of too weird for him, a little too dark for him, that he all, he knows that he's going to... He's going to pay out that if he says he's going to come and do him in, he's going to come and do him in. So that really was going to be his only choice if he's actually going to drop his name to Sugar, which he did. Yeah. And I think it's a it's clearly a choice where he did not want to be under Stallings thumb and he did not want to be attached to this guy and have whatever happened to him. So I think he made that choice consciously that, OK, you know what, I'm going to free myself from Stallings, but then. At the end of all this, he's freeing himself from his own life. Like, that's it. He knows his career is over. He knows that, you know, all this information is out there. Who knows where it's going to go from there. But I do want to take a moment to address Anna Gunn here. You don't have to always play characters that are tied to really terrible, reprehensible men. Like, it is okay to eventually find another part that you can just exist on your own and hopefully not have to deal with nonsense from the internet. Like, it... You're a great actress. Somebody give you yes, this part, is. please. I know. I'd, I'd like to see her be able to be in another role as well. Yeah. No, but I, I think it's a good time to end the Davy storyline because he was yeah. never, to me, he was never a serious threat to Sugar <laughs> because he's a, he was an actor. And his only skill beyond being a marginal actor was being absolutely terrible and then covering up what he did. It was never a situation where I felt like, Oh, Davy's going to go and expose Sugar's secret. And by virtue of that, I don't think Bernie's going to either. I don't care how Bernie acted or how dismissive he was of Sugar in this episode or trying to be like, oh, you know, because Jonathan is ailing now, you, your work is done. I don't, I don't, all these people suck. I don't trust any of their ability to actually cover anything. Well, that's the thing is like, now that it's all out there, how much does Bernie really know? Like, how much does he really know? Does he also know about Stallings? Has he also had dealings with Stallings? I mean, the information's all out there at this point. Like, what else is he covering up? I feel like there's more secrets than just this. Yeah, it, it's complicated because I feel because like... Because of the dress yeah. and, like, there's a lot of other things that are going on. Yeah, like, do I think Bernie knew some of it? Absolutely. Did he know enough that it was really, really horrible that he covered things up? Yes, absolutely. But that does not mean at the same time that either of them you know, him or the mom or anybody else knew every single finer detail. And that's what makes all of this complicated from here added to the fact that, okay, you're not going to be able to cover up Davy's death, right? So mm -hmm. the police are going to get involved here. How much are you going to be willing to talk about the police? Because yeah, these are really sad and terrible circumstances, but this family also is inherently selfish. And the more that comes out, the more they sort of run the risk of wrecking their own reputation. So what does that look like? Yeah. This show is great at this point. I'll just say that. It's firing on a lot of cylinders. It's making me insane with that we're questioning things. It's really nice to have a show on right now that gets us so deep into theories because that's one of the things that we really like to do here yeah. at the channel whether they're crazy alien theories or something a little more down to earth uh, yeah. okay all right but i'll sing myself out but no, we're not done. <laughs> but that's the thing about it is this show mm -hmm. really gets us thinking and that's you know what we love about murder mysteries in general but this one I, you know, at first I was kind of like, oh man, it really sucks that they put out that there's this major twist and, mm -hmm. you know, why did they do that? And would I, would I be thinking that there was a may be that there is a major twist coming up if it hadn't been revealed by this episode? Yes. Like yeah. you mentioned that earlier in the video. I, I was really mad about it at first, but now it's like it was going to come up anyways. They have said we are here to observe too many times for me to not think that it's aliens. Yeah, I there's still a part of me that's like, okay, you guys could have held back on that a little while longer. But at the end of the day, there's enough clues on the show at this point. I just really appreciate what the show has brought when it comes to not just clues, but understanding we don't need more story than you guys are willing to give us. Like these 30 to 35 minute episodes, they're fine for a yeah. show like Sugar. I think we're getting enough content. We're getting enough theories. We're getting enough reasons to sort of sit back and wonder about all this. I just think the biggest risk 
that we're taking right now is whenever all of this is going to be revealed, this is not a super long show. I am worried about the payoff. I'm just worried that there's not going to be enough time to explain everything, but then also conclude this case with Olivia because yeah, good for sugar. If he's an alien, if he's a zombie, you know, if he's whatever, if he has three heads, like at the end of the day, we're still invested in the case and the reveal can't be distracted from the fact that Olivia's disappearance suddenly becomes an afterthought. Listen, if he's an alien or an AI <laughs> or undead, undead, yeah. that is a distraction from the case it easily. Is. There's no getting around that if the twist is that big. I just still need closure on this. And I hope that the writing can juggle both of these things. It is going to be hard. Maybe we'll get a second season. They don't have to wrap everything up this no, season. It's okay. It's okay to do more than a season of shows, guys. I know this has been a, oh, a hard goodness. thing to say so far this year. But, I know. Right. And most of last year. Okay. Well, that's what we got on Sugar Season 1, Episode 5. But if you guys want to see more of our reviews, just check that box right there. Also, hit that subscribe button for more coverage. Thank you as well to our patrons Thank for you. your support. You can join our Patreon. I've got a link in the description. Live streams about sugar every week. And we will see you guys here next time.